Chapter 3 of Poppy Playtime just got a ton of new character descriptions for their smiling critters, including a big reveal for the main antagonist, Catnap, and even some camera teasers showing off his monster version and a whole new character showing up in the chapter. So if you didn't know, over the past week, the developers of Poppy Playtime have been posting a bunch of character descriptions for their new Chapter 3 toys, the smiling critters, revealed earlier in the month. And in my last video, we went over the toys Bubba Bubba Fint, who symbolized learning, Bobby Bear Hug for love, Crafty corn for art and kicked chicken for being cool i guess however since then we got descriptions for all the other characters starting with the dog named dog day that reads this is dog day the sunny strong and determined leader of our critters each trust him to find the bright side in any situation and to have a friendly word of encouragement should they feel down he'll always keep his friends going no matter what being scented like vanilla so the dog day character seems to represent being a good friend and being selfless towards others then they reveal the pig picky piggy that reads what's more important than play and learning picky piggy knows the answer a playful body and keen mind are fueled by what's put into them which is why she encourages her friends to eat a well-balanced diet secretly pb and j's are her favorite food and she scented like citrus so as we have already predicted the pig is going to be all about eating healthy then second to last there is the bunny happy hopscotch who reads unafraid to hop where others might Sit. Hoppy is the friend everyone needs to maintain their energy and enthusiasm. While sometimes loud and impatient, she'll always hop beside her friends, even if it means slowing up once in a while to keep their pace. And she's scented like peppermint, which tells me Hoppy is going to be all about keeping a good attitude and being energetic. Now, this gives us pretty much every single one of these smiling critters and key personality traits about them that will probably matter in the game in some way and even later in this video. But this still leaves one final character of the smiling critters missing catnap the main character and antagonist of the entire chapter well that is until yesterday where the developers finally dropped a description for the infamous cat that explains his purpose in the factory reading catnap is a calming presence for the critters and ensures he and his friends always have the right amount of sleep to jumpstart the morning's play end of the day there's nothing catnap enjoys more than watching his friends sleep soundly being scented like lavender which like the rest of the toy scents if you do some minor research is a relaxer and anxiety suppressant when smelled most likely meaning these toys and their anxiety calming scents were used to keep children who played with them calm at least when they were first made however after the catnap description dropped going over to the chapter 3 ARG website playtimeco.org we were also given a couple of brand new teasers first we would get a brand new email that is from an unknown sender and is titled preparations which when clicking on reads an email from the unknown sender saying are things coming into focus yet you may think you understand things but how could you there's too much left to say and not enough time you don't know the sacrifices we made to get this to you this connection won't hold for much longer when the powers that be discover this place and it will be discovered it will be burned to the ground but you're already a step ahead you've left no stone unturned nothing left behind you are perfect for this we will be in touch goodbye which to make a long story short is telling us that the sender of this email and the other couple emails from previous ARG videos was some sort of rat in the factory feeding us information and they were worried about getting caught. But until then, they gave us another photo from one of the Playtime Co. employees' computers that says, We are going through the dolls now. They definitely don't smell like lavender. And the stuff coming out isn't the usual clear mist, but a smoky red. I have no idea what this is, but we'll want to run this up the line because it's almost definitely definitely what's been causing parents to complain to our customer service team. So this new email tells us two things. For starters, the message they sent to us about their connection potentially being lost at the end says, we will be in touch goodbye, which is the same exact last line the mysterious people in the Project Playtime VHS tapes tell us at the end of those, suggesting these are the two same exact people sending us messages throughout. And furthermore, in the actual document they sent us, they had told us about how during inspection of of a certain toy spoiler alert catnap the toy that was supposedly meant to spit out a clear lavender mist like his description said was instead blowing out a smoky red scent of some sorts that parents were complaining about and for some reason somebody was tampering with the dolls and he was now spitting out this red gas which we now know in the play care was weaponized to knock the children clean out into sleep as some sort of anesthetic which leaves a lot to be theorized about because that means not only was the bigger body version 
version of catnap spitting out the red gas but also the actual toys that were given to children were spitting it out as well so maybe there could also be smaller catnap plushes who also shoot out the red gas in the play care however while that's all cool information at the same time the cctv app inside of the playtime co computer would also update giving us three brand new camera teasers that reveal a ton about the chapter for the first one we see what appears to be a couple of large pistons moving up and down and you might actually already recognize this image because it's the same one from a screenshot for chapter three that we were given a while back and as of right now not really much can be told about this camera or the room it's showing off because it's so basic some theorize these pistons could be for something specific like crushing toys or maybe even producing the infamous red gas used in the play care and also the url on the arg website for this cctv is titled cctvt presumably meaning this room's name is abbreviated as the letter t somehow but the next tape then shows us an even darker setting of some sort of padded prison cell area with a bunch of mangled dead toys laying around everywhere and this is another area you might actually already recognize as in other separate teasers we've seen this same padded up area with the prison cells and even catnap laying here in the dark and plus we also get clues catnap was once here judged from his now iconic claw marks left on the floor that we've seen in other trailers as well but perhaps what's most important about the cctv is that if you watch it for long enough suddenly a brand new character will come running through the rooms and this time it's not a bigger body but a much smaller toy now looking at this creature i've seen a few different theories for what they could be from cat b to a smaller version of catnap himself but judged from the very rounded off ears this actually very clearly appears to be another smiling critter being bobby bear hug from before and in this we could see her running through the tape confirming not only will cat not make an appearance as a live character but there will also be some of the other smiling critters showing up as well which if true makes me wonder what is bobby bear hugs purpose going to be in the chapter and why is she running around and in my opinion in interviews with the devs about chapter three they made it a big point that some characters were going to help us in the factory while others like catnap were meant to harm us and if we look at bobby's description she is known for being a loving caring for all people critter hence why she is seen as just a cute little plush instead of a big monster in catnap meaning i wonder if with her unintimidating size and her loving personality traits if she could possibly be one of the characters who chooses to help us in the factory against characters like catnap however looking back at the camera one big question i still have about the cctv that i can't quite solve is what are the locked cages on the sides going to be for are they going to be for experiments whenever they were first being created like what we saw in bronze room here or even darker because it's the play care could they have been for the actual children in the factory to be locked into when they weren't behaving i'm not exactly sure and i don't see really any evidence but comment down below your thoughts the url for the cctv is also titled cctv ph with the ph possibly being shortened for prison house judge from the prison gates then for the last and by far the darkest cctv we are then shown a bedroom of where all of the children would sleep in the play care and to the left none other than the monster version of catnap staring at the cctv with his big bold glowing eyes and you can even see his moon charm hanging off of his body within the darkness as well now looking at the cctv while nothing major happens it allows us to see just the crazy size of catnap at least in this frame and we already know he can shrink and contort a lot smaller based on other documents about him so who knows if this is even his largest size plus maybe this is the area where we will end up discovering him inside of the factory because it's in a bedroom area where he presumably was putting all of the children to sleep or better yet maybe since we've seen him in so many different areas through the factory from the bedrooms to prison cells to hallways he could possibly instead be a roaming enemy who chases us throughout the entire factory plus the website url is cctv hsh with the hsh probably standing for a home sweet home an area in the play care mentioned before in other documents that judged from its name and the camera we got here was where the children went into the play care at night and were put to sleep hence catnap being there 
now following this teaser a bunch of other documents were hidden in the ARG that reveal a lot about the deep lore of chapter 3 but they go so deep into the story I need an extra couple days to figure out what they all mean so make sure to subscribe to not miss that and check out this video here